Hi, my name's Michelle, and I'm gonna show you how I took this beat up old dresser and turned it into a beautiful modern piece. Now, the front of these drawer fronts had a lot of scratches, and I knew I'd have to fix that. And there was also some sticky residue left on the drawer fronts that I knew I'd have to get off. First thing I did was I went in with some crud cutter and gave it a really good clean. And then I rinsed it with just some clean water to get any residue off. I went in with my goof off to get off those sticky stickers that were stuck there. And I used a scraper as well to help me get them off. I went in with some Elmer's wood glue because I had some drawers that needed to be fixed where the dovetail joins had come apart. So I made sure I went into each of those joins with the wood glue. And then I stepped them together and used the good old hand hammer to get them in place and I clamped them down. On the front of the drawers, I put a little piece of scrap wood between the drawer front and the clamp just to make sure I didn't get any marks on the drawer front. And then I went in and wiped away any excess wood glue that I had and I let these dry for 24 hours. Now those drawer fronts that had some deep scratches, what I did is I mixed up some wood filler with some water to create a paste. And I basically went in and brushed that over all of the drawer fronts in order to fill those scratches. Once the wood filler was dry, I went in with 220 grit sandpaper and sand those drawer fronts down just to make sure there was no excess wood filler. I wanted to keep the top drawer natural wood. This is what it looked like after I'd sanded it down. And I went in with Minwax Gel Stain in Walnut to give this a beautiful color. Now first, I put the gel stain onto the drawer with a lint-free cloth. Now I left the gel stain on for three minutes and then came back and wiped it off. When it was time to paint, I like to check my flow on a piece of cardboard first to make sure the paint is coming out in a nice amount. And I went in with my Wagner 3000 spray gun to spray the paint on. The paint I used had an inbuilt primer, so I didn't need to prime this piece first. Before I sprayed the edges, I put some painter's tape down on the draw glides because if you get excess paint on the draw glides, sometimes it can make it harder for the drawers to slide in and out. Unfortunately, after my first coat, I realized I hadn't done a good enough job filling in those scratches. So I had to fill them in again with wood filler, sand them down and repaint them. Once my paint and top coat was dry, I removed the paint, this tape that I had put on the drawer slides. And then it was time to put my handles on. This involved a lot of measuring. Oh, wow. Okay, so the issue is because this has the hangover lip, I can't put it center, center, center because then this lip will hang down a little bit further. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so, so slightly above center. Yeah, so does that look okay or does it look too high? No, that looks good. Alright, so it's basically like a little bit more than a centimeter above where the center is. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Glad to be of help. Thank 
Cutie. Yeah. And boy, did these handles give me a run for my money. They were a lot harder to put on than I thought they were going to be. Oh my goodness, it looks so crooked. <laughs> persevered and I eventually got all of the handles on. Part of the issue was I had to be millimeter perfect to do those drill holes and if I was out by just a little bit the screws wouldn't go into the handles and it took me a long time to get this going but eventually I got there and I got all of the handles in and straight. I cleaned up and then this piece was done. Just a reminder of what this piece looked like before I started. Had a bunch of scratches on the front, sticky stuff that needed to come out, and it was just in bad shape. And this is how it looked once I was finished with it. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking down below. It really helps me out in making more of these videos. And if you'd like to see more dresser makeovers, I'll link a playlist at the end of this video that shows some more incredible transformations of dresses. watching and I'll see you in the next video.